Good morning, Antoinette. We can tell you that former President Donald Trump, he is expected to be booked here at the Manhattan Criminal Courthouse. He heads to New York today to be formally charged over alleged hush money payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels near the end of the 2016 campaign. Now, the indictment against him remains sealed this morning. Once it's unsealed, we'll learn more about uh, the prosecutor's case. Sources tell ABC News that he is facing two dozen counts, including felonies. His lawyer says he intends to plead not guilty. Now, Sunday, on a live edition of On the Record, Congressman Stephen Lynch and Massachusetts GOP Chair Amy Carnevale joined Ed Harding and me to talk about this historic indictment. This has never before happened yeah, in history. Yeah, yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Uh, but I don't know if there are any good choices here. Uh, you've already prosecuted the chief financial officer. You've already prosecuted and, and put in jail the the attorney for the for the president. Uh, do you just give him a pass? Uh, so, you know, the idea that no one is above the law. I think that's at stake here. And the indictment is, is, is likely to further solidify those feelings, whether you're in support of President Trump or you're opposed to him. So I, I do think that, you know, that it's unlikely to change any opinions, but it is certainly heating up the rhetoric um, on behalf of the supporters of Donald Trump. Now, the former president is expected to spend the night at his Fifth Avenue apartment at Trump Tower before he's driven down to court. Now, unlike other criminal defendants, the former president is not expected to be handcuffed. He is expected to be processed, but he is not expected to be handcuffed uh, when he heads into that courtroom on the 15th floor. Antoinette? Sharman, you arrived in New York City yesterday. Can you talk to us about the security presence there? Well, it's, it's unmistakable. Um, you know, you can see a lot of barriers surrounding the courthouse, certainly, and in some of the nearby streets as well. We do understand there will likely be some street closures as well when he does uh, head over to the New York City courthouse, certainly around the area of Trump Tower as well. New York City Police, Secret Service, they are both very heavily involved in this plan. So you can imagine how tight security will be. Tight indeed. All right. Our Sharman Sacchetti live in New York City this morning. Thank you so much. Sharman will be joined by New Center 5's Ed Harding for the former president's court appearance. And we will continue to bring you live reports from Manhattan all day today and tomorrow right here on New Center 5.